everyone, it's Renee with Delaney Jane Cards. Welcome back to my channel. Today I pulled out some um, older sets from Fiskars. I have a few of these large sets in my collection and I don't always play with them. But I thought I would play with this background stamp today. Uh, it's like a, it reminds me of like peacock feathers or paisley print. I think it, like a combination. So what I was doing here is using my Misty and I was stamping it with Versa Mark ink and I used some washi tape to just hold down the edges and I made sure that the washi tape didn't infringe on where I was going to cut this with the dye. So I poured it all on there <laughs> and it's white on white. I don't really know why I brought it up to the screen for you to see but um, it was covered completely and it was really kind of pretty. So here you can't really see much, but you can kind of see the embossing disappear, which is why I left this part in. White heat embossing, heat embossing of any kind is super cool. It's this powder, you heat it up and it melts because it's plastic. And then uh, it kind of stays where you want it to because you use a sticky ink. So here was the die I plan to use. It's a Mama Elephant stitched rectangle from their basics die. Set. I did all of my die cutting off screen, so here it is. And then I was lining up my sentiment here. I wanted to make sure that it was still going to fit how I thought it should in my mind. And then I pulled out my ink blending mat and um, pulled out my distress inks. So this is Cracked Pistachio Blueprint Sketch and Shaded Lilac and they are the original Distress inks. And so this is a emboss resist technique. You, know, you could do this first and then um, stamp the background and emboss it in white. I think it would work just fine. So here I was just keeping my fingers out of the ink. I didn't want to leave any fingerprints. These inks aren't nearly as bad for fingerprints as the Distress Oxides. You can really leave some major fingerprints in those. But I was just putting the two lighter colors on the edges and I wanted to bring them together with this blueprint sketch. Now Shaded Lilac and Blueprint Sketch is one of my favorite color combinations ever. It is beautiful for skies and all sorts of things, water, all sorts of stuff. But I also really, really, really like this Crack Pistachio and it's also blends really nice with the blueprint sketch. So I was kind of channeling peacocks when I was doing this and thought that would be a really pretty color combination. So after I was done I wiped it all off to make sure that any ink left on the embossing would be wiped away and I stamped my sentiment using my Misty. This is an embossed background so there's texture and I knew that if there's texture it means I'm gonna have to stamp it more than once. I also wanted to stamp it over the white embossing, so I didn't use the Versamark ink, I used Versafine ink. This way, if my embossing powder didn't hit a spot, it would at least have a black line. And it looks kind of hard to read here until I put the black embossing powder on it. And I know a lot of people don't really use black embossing powders too much, and I don't really either, but I wanted this really to be really crisp. So then I seen that it really just didn't pop off the page like I wanted it to. So I took some water and um, I kind of spread it around just on the sentiment there and then picked it up to kind of lighten it uh, where the sentiment was. And then I added some more drop detail. Then after it was well, almost dry, I used this Nouveau glimmer paste stuff and I just spread it on the one edge and I kind of put it on in almost a C shape so it goes a little bit more over on the top and the bottom kind of frames the sentiment and then I added foam tape to the back of this panel and you can see here that panel was not totally dry yet because you can still see where I used the water, but I just uh, tried to make it work. And then this is just some thread that I had 
It's from a previous life when I had to fix a hunting blind and I needed some outdoor thread. Still have it around. It's probably 20 years old or so. Uh, I cut out most of the fiddling with this bow, but I did leave this part in where the one bow loop was twisted really bad. So I just pulled it to where it was almost not a loop anymore and then pulled it back out so it could untwist. Added a drop of glue here to hold the center of the bow in place. And then I was just checking out my embellishments. I had picked um, some flat back gems and some um, flat back, I don't know, crystal-y things and a few sequins from my stash. Oh, and I took a couple of little pieces of foam tape and made sure I adhered down the, the string in the back. And I adhered all this. See, you could tell that wasn't all the way dry. I had used it, <laughs> liquid adhesive to stick it down. Um, so I pulled all these backs off and then I did use my liquid adhesive on here so that when I was putting this on the card panel, I knew I would get it straight because I could move it around just a little bit. So here I was bringing back those flat back gems and the, I don't know what them other ones are called. I tried to show them, but I didn't really... <laughs> didn't really sell them well. So I think these like blue gems are from the Dollar Tree, honestly. They're pretty old. The other ones, uh, the aqua e color ones, are from um, Buttons Galore. Those have been in my stash a while. And the sequins, they are from a bag of sequins that I don't even know where they came from. Probably a card kit of some kind. So I just adhered those down. I did pull my flashlight out so you can see uh, the glimmer on this glimmer paste that I used, it is ridiculously shiny and I didn't want it to overpower my card so I just put it on the edge there. So here are some still shots of the card. I'd love to know what you think. I Have you ever layered your embossing powders? I'm really curious. On your screen now you should see an additional video if you'd like to keep watching. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. Bye everybody. It's Rachel. I get the cup.